you opt into a video number one, right? And then a couple days later, you get video number two. A couple days later, you get video number three with a call to action. A couple days later, you get video number four. Well, what happens if they didn't engage with the first video? Still send video number two? Hell no, you shouldn't. You should see about how can you get them to engage in the first email that they opted in for and get them to watch it. You know, there's amazing technology now that we can say, you know, did they click on the link? How much did they watch in the video? Where did they cut off on the video? So then we could say, hey, you, didn't, you know, I noticed you left early because I have this really cool spy software and I had a ninja over your shoulder that told me that you weren't watching, you didn't watch the whole video. So what's up with that? And just since you're really busy, I'm going to send you this really cool thing right here. It's only two minutes long. Check it out. And that could be your call to action. But the easiest way to demonstrate value is actually give them value first. And that's what people miss out. And they give out complete crap sometimes. And you really got to give out kind of your best stuff. And, you know, because people want to know how to do it, but they don't want to necessarily do it. So you just got to, you just got to help first. And, and, you know, it's kind of like um, a buddy of mine uh, says, you know, it's like helping not hype. Right. And that's really what you need to do. Yeah. I think uh, one of the other speakers, uh, Ben Seller was talking about uh, how he'd learned from someone else that uh, within, um, you know, 10 days of someone subscribing, if they haven't opened your email address, sorry, if they haven't opened that first email, then literally take them off because those are the guys who are going to be, you know, reporting you as spam down the track when you when you um, when they start seeing your emails. Like, yeah, who I don't remember signing up for this. Who 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 kind of is this person? Yeah. Well, he's missing out on a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Maybe they they had that particular problem, and maybe they sent them a crappy white paper, and someone didn't want to read a white paper. Maybe they are better on audio or video. So literally. And I'll walk you through it in a little bit of like how my campaigns work is they have contingencies for each milestone. So if you think of kind of logically, what's the, what's the end goal that I want to have happen and what do they need to get there? And then where do I need to start? There's a huge gap in the middle and you need to fill that out. And so if they don't reach every milestone, which is a decision, then you're going to have a contingency. So then you can bolt campaigns together. I literally have eight campaigns. And then they're all connected and based on how you engage and how you, um, what you tell me, you know, I'll, I'll do something different. And here's a, a ninja thing that no one's doing that uh, I started doing about two months ago. That's been a real game changer for me. So you guys are kind of the first people to tell outside of my in, inner circle, right? So you got the scoop, but it's called progressive profiling. Thank you pages. Okay. And so what it is, is on the thank you page after someone opts in, it asks them one question. And it says, and I basically say, are you an agency owner? Because I target agencies, right? Are you a marketing professional? Are you a business owner? Or are you a freelancer? And it basically tags them. And then it goes next and it asks them their income or um, their revenue. So now I'm immediately tagging them so I know more about them. Now you're probably thinking, well, how many people actually fill the damn thing out? 94%. You try to do a segment campaign after someone opts in later on in the campaign, you'll get about five to 10%. And the reason being is, is because everybody thinks they have to fill it out in order to get the stuff that they want. 